Xate claims to solve the developer experience and databases. Does it live up to the challenge? Let's pair it with the brand new Next.js server components to put it to the test. But first, subscribe to the channel for the latest experiments in frontend and DevOps. Xeta is a brand new relational database that does not use SQL. It feels more familiar to using Airtable or a spreadsheet software. This is great because it allows you to use its graphical user interface to interact with the data, which is really awesome for startups and non-technical users. But for people who prefer to code, Xeta also shines. It offers a multitude of features like an amazing free text search engine or branches that allow you to work on your schema without affecting production. And also, they have a really amazing fully typed JavaScript SDK. One of my favorite features where their attention to developer experience shows is the ability to fill a table with random data. This is extremely useful when you are working on a new feature because it lets you easily set up a development environment that mocks production. But enough talking, let's get started with our experiment. First, we will create a Next.js project using the new app directory. This is needed to work with server component, but it is still in beta. With this done, let us head over to xada.io to register and create our new database. The whole process is really quick. We also have the option to create some random data as mentioned earlier. Now, let us try to connect the database to our Next.js project. We will need to install the Xeta CLI globally using npm. We could also decide to install it as a development dependency of our project, but Xeta recommends installing globally. As I am a YouTuber who has never built my own database, I will trust them and do what they recommend. When this is done, we can proceed to authenticate with the CLI, which will prompt us to name our API key. Let's name it API key. This is the only acceptable name for such an API key. With this done, we can use the CLI to initialize the Xeta SDK. You will be prompted with a few questions. Those questions will give you the option to automatically generate TypeScript type definitions. Because we are serious developers, we will avoid coding in the JavaScript dark ages and accept generating types. This is actually really convenient because when we try to fetch data, things will just work right out of the box and you can simply focus on building features. In the example here, I was able to show the random data from the database within just a few minutes. Notice also we are writing our React components without any hooks. This is the magic of server components. And paired with Zeta, this makes for a super fast development workflow, almost like coding in 2024. A lot of this is obviously really recent software, so I would probably not use this in production right away. But I think we can all agree that this combo is really cool and powerful. Thank you for listening to this video and please subscribe for more DX-oriented videos.